What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great, welcome to this new video uh, on Jasmine, alright, I, I owe you one, uh, because I've covered Jasmine quite a bit and I've been quite bullish on it in the last week, uh, however, we have lost our bullish momentum, alright, the, the main thing that got me excited, I mean, first of all, I think the, um, I think the price structure for Jasmine, but I've, I've talked about this so, so often uh, that I'm almost getting bored uh, getting, uh, talking about it, but the thing is, is that if you zoom out, to the daily time frame, uh, Jasmine is forming a, a consolidation right here between 1.6 cents as a support and then 2.5 cents as a resistance. And that's quite interesting because right now we're quite far away from that resistance. And if we are really sticking to this consolidation, at some point of time, we're going to get back to that top. And that would, from the current levels, be a move of about 30%. So that's obviously great, all right? Um, but the thing is, is that, and I've also talked about that um, uh, when we got that breakout, all right? Because um, what happened and what made me more bullish is that after hitting uh, the bottom right here of our consolidation range, we got a bullish breakout. Now, usually if you hit the bottom and you get a bullish confirmation, usually that's a confirmation that you're going back up to the top. And then especially with a Bitcoin that was relatively strong, until Tuesday, I thought that was a real possibility. Now, what I always told you though in the videos, and uh, and that's also why I never told you to buy Jasmine, even though I also would not say that in the videos, um, but the one thing that was kind of holding Jasmine back was the momentum, all right? Every time that Jasmine has done great, the momentum has been very bullish as well. And we, we saw some increases on the 20th and the 20, uh, 22nd, of momentum increases for Jasmine, but it never was anything major, all right? Never never something like this, or if we go back in time, also never something like this, or this, or this. Um, so we were waiting for that momentum to kick in, and we never got that, all right? So that, in combination, obviously, with uh, with the pullback that Bitcoin had on uh, Wednesday, was enough to, uh, instead of this, let Jasmine drop down below this uh, support level at 1.95 and 2 cents again, um, and now we drop down below that, had a bearish confirmation, the momentum is still low, no momentum increases. So it's most likely we'll drop down, um, which is not the end of the world, because like I said, even like the, the most likely support level we'll, we'll drop into is again that level at 1.7 and 1.6 cents. And the technical structure still holds, all right? So that level and dropping back down to that level could also be a good buying um, a good buying scenario and a good buying setup. We'll still have to see, all right? It, it depends a little bit on the market. If Bitcoin turns very, very bearish, then there's a chance that we will not be able to gain that much support from there. Um, but this is most likely, all right? We're losing momentum. We had a bearish breakout, bearish confirmation. So this is what I expect. Now, ultimately, what we are waiting for is two things, and that is a more bullish market. Uh, so basically, Bitcoin above 65,000 at least, but uh, hopefully above 67,000. And we wait for the momentum, the open interest to increase for Jasmine. And I gotta be honest with you, that could theoretically happen at any moment. So keep your eyes on that, all right? If that starts to go up, wherever the price is, then we can get a bullish breakout and start running again very, very soon. Um, so that's something you'll, you'll, you'll need, to, need to keep your eyes on. Obviously, I will do that as well. So I'll, I'll let you know in, in a video as soon as I can. Um, but that's the most important thing. Until that happens, until we gain that momentum, this is most likely, and that's what you need to know. So, if you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. For now, though, thank you for watching. Take care, and bye.